Welcome, this is your 5 minute geography lesson. We're covering theme 6, element 2, uneven development. Outdoor courts off, I'm Mr S and I'll be your 5 minute teacher. The countries of the world are all at different stages of the, uh, the development continuum. There are a number of different reasons why this is the case. But one of the prime reasons is trade. International trade is not a level playing field. As, as we will see, richer countries tend to get more profits from trade than poorer countries do. But why is that? Well, it all has to do with the types of products that are being traded. So international change, exchange of goods and services tends to favour the richer countries, the HICs. And that's because HICs tend to make products or manufacture goods and services to sell. And these products that have been manufactured tend to are more expensive than what the LICs are producing. So LICs tend to do more in terms of the primary industries. So that's things like farming, fishing, and mining, taking raw materials from the ground. So a raw material is worth less than a product that has been made from those raw materials. So for example, um, wheat is cheaper than a loaf of bread. But because LICs may be less educated, may have less in terms of resources and infrastructure, they may not necessarily be able to manufacture those things themselves. But what they do have is a lot of a population. So a lot of manpower that can work a field, that can dig resources out of the ground and then sell those resources to a country that does have the capacity to uh, develop a product out of it. So that means that when an LIC sells all its uh, goods for export, it's getting less money than the HIC that's selling its goods for export. So this is creating an unlevel playing field. And what ends up meaning that LICs remain in poverty because they can't maintain and they can't produce at the same rate. But not only are the raw goods cheaper, but the prices of these goods fluctuate ra uh, rapidly and consistently out through the year. So while in the summer, their product may, or their goods may sell for one price, in a later season, it may be cheaper, it may be more expensive, which means that they can't guarantee how much money they'll actually make around the year. And then finally, HICs are probably more likely to be part of a trading block. And a trading block, means that they're trying to um, encourage free trade within their own little region, but any other country that wants to sell to them has to be imposed a tariff or a tax, which means that those raw materials that those LICs are exporting then have to have an additional tax on top of them as well, which makes them even less profitable for that country. So these trading blocks, the EU is an example of one of these, are where we have Borderless trade, so free trade, you don't have to pay any taxes or any tariffs when you're trading within the block. So with the EU, the UK can sell to any other European country, so for example France, and it doesn't have to pay any taxes on the stuff that, it's, uh, that it exports to France. But let's say Ghana wants to sell some uh, cocoa, used to make chocolate, to France, that would be have to pay a tax on top of it because it's coming from outside the EU. So this creates a large market for businesses to sell, which is great for people within the EU, but companies of the member states can sell their products freely and as a result there's more of a benefit to them, but at a detriment to the LICs who can't sell without paying a tax on top. So it sounds like it's a bad thing, but globalization does bring some benefits as well. So globalization is the increased interconnectivity of countries around the world due to technology and communication. So as a result of this improved technology, our world has become increasingly interconnected. So that means that we can trade across the world faster and more easily. It also means that some of our LICs and NICs can trade and perhaps make a bit more money for themselves as well, whereas in the past it may have been harder it's still not fair, but it's still easier now for them to do so. 
So by exporting these goods around the world, they've actually got more experience in rapid growth and therefore NICs have been able to develop themselves more quickly in recent years. So globalization has allowed some of our more developing countries to make that increased development quicker than perhaps the HICs have done in the past. Well, that brings our lesson to an end, but continue at your own pace by completing the Now Try It tasks for homework. Class dismissed.